copper pipe J poles. A lot of us have built them. They work great. They're pretty easy to tune. But how the heck do you carry one of these around if you have to backpack with it or bug out and you want to take this uh, awesome antenna with you? Normally what people do is they make from here, this point here, all the way to the top will be one solid piece of copper. What I've done was a little bit different. I cut this section into three pieces and used joiners. However, the joiners I only soldered on the upper part, not the lower part. That allows me to pull it apart. And inside, I put some shock cord. What I did on either end of this, on this end cap at the bottom, this is your mounting section here, the bottom, the end cap, is a small eye bolt with a nut on it that I set into the cap, filled it with solder, or half filled it with solder to make sure it would hold, put the end cap on, soldered that, holds nicely, did the same thing on this end, there's a, hey butterfly, there's an eye bolt in here with a nut on it, sits in the bottom of the cap, cover that nut with, uh, with solder, solder your end cap on there, in between those two eye bolts is a piece of shock cord. All I have to do now is pull it apart like that, pull it apart like that. I'll use the feed line to wrap around there to hold it all together. I can strap this to the outside of a backpack. Uh, black fly just got me. Yeah, I'll strap this to the outside of a backpack. Uh, fits in the trunk of the car, fits under the seat of the car almost at this point. Uh, definitely fit under the back seat of my truck. Uh, just makes it a lot more portable. Anyway, they're easy to, once you get them tuned, they're very efficient. I put my Shurcom, my SW33 on my Baofeng, and I got this thing tuned down to, get this, 1.02 to 1, uh, which is awesome for one of these. Anything, of course, under 1.5 to 1 is considered good. You see, that's how easy this thing goes back together, just like that. But I did get it tuned down to uh, 1.02 to 1. What I did was I just took some uh, plumber strapping, wrapped it around, used the nut and bolt on either one of these. You want to tune it, loosen them up, move them up and down, twist them around a bit till you get the right spot, tighten the bolts back up, and away you go. Yeah, there is a bit of a problem with that because you get two dissimilar metals and you're going to start to get some corrosion in there. Every year or two, just come out, take these off, clean it up with some sandpaper, emery cloth, uh, nail file, whatever you want to do tune it, tighten them back up again, and you're good to go. Uh, you notice this one isn't exactly shiny new copper. If we look there, kind of nasty looking. That's because it's been outside for a couple years, and this thing has never failed me, ever failed me. The only reason it's not mounted now is because we just moved last fall, and uh, I think today's the day I'm going to find a place to mount it up. So uh, remember, folks, uh, be prepared. It's a tough world out there. Go make a J-pole for your Baofeng. They're great.